Hello, Gaby, how are you? Hi, how are you, dear Good. Artemis? Well, Gaby, um, Gabriela, I know that, that you are a very busy person. You are the chief marketing officer of one of the biggest IT integrators in Latin America and the biggest one in Central America and the Caribbean. Um, you know but that we have worked together because uh, you are a partner of the company that I work for. And I always have admired you with, because it, all the things that you have done in marketing, um, you have helped me with different types of events, social media, and so on. And that was the reason that, that because I know the experience that you have in marketing, the thing that you have done in many countries, I don't know, maybe 12, 17 countries. And that's why I, 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 I want to have the opportunity to interview you and, and tell us you know, more about marketing. But first of all, I, would you please, you know, Tell us a little bit about uh, Gabriela Grajeda and, and who she is as a woman, as a mother, as a professional, as a chief marketing officer. Please. Okay. Thank. First of all, thank you very much for this interview. I'm, I'm so glad to help you about this. Um, I think that this is a great opportunity to me, of course, because I, I love marketing. I want to express how I love my job. I have like 25 years of experience in some multinational companies. Uh, I started to work since I began the university in 1999. Yes, <laughs> a lot of time ago. But uh, I think that I had a lot of experience uh, not only marketing as, as well. I, I work in an advertising agency. I work as a trade marketing manager in Samsung and Bayersdorf and uh, in L'Oreal. So I think that I know a lot of, of markets, IT, uh, retail, uh, technology. So I think that this is my passion. I work for passion. I work for for every day. I I wake up and I say, today I will do this, 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 this. My 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 brain and my head never stops. So, uh, well, right now I I have uh, start in PBS two years ago. Could you please? Uh, I'm sorry to stop you, but I'm I'm again. Thank you, and I. I admire you because of your professionalism and your experience that you have. But could you tell us about something about PBS, what the company is, what you do, and in how many countries you are, and so on, please? Yes, of course. PBS Group is a, an organization that has 24 offices until today. Wow. In, in 24 Central, countries. Um, yes. Central America, Caribbean, and South America. Uh, we are like 3,000 professionals in total. And we are one of the largest IT system integrators in this, um, these countries. Uh, we have uh, six business lines that we are, that we are working on. Uh, this is the... Uh, a lot of uh, partners that we, we we work with. We have 64 partners. 64. Wow. 64 partners, yes. So uh, we are uh, di dividing all these partners in each vertical of, of our business. Um, in professional services is one of these. Advanced services is another. Networking and communication. Information of technology. Printing and imaging and security. So as you see, we have a lot of work to do. Uh, of course, I, I started two years ago, as I said, and PBS didn't have like a regional manager to manage this, 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 this kind of work in marketing. So I started like putting order the house, you know, 
because we have a lot of cultures, different cultures, different markets, uh, different kind of people in our company. Uh, we work with a lot of partners. So I think that the first thing that I did was like put in order the, the house, you know? So okay. um, for me, it's very important, you know, in marketing, digital marketing, uh, exist a lot of platforms right now, uh, a lot of systems, you know, to control all the, all the mon monitoring and reporting mm -hmm. and everything. But I think that I started also with an internal marketing because for me, people is so important. You can have all the brand, beautiful brand and all the platforms and all digital support, but if you don't have a good relationship with your partners, with the peers, with your all the employees, I think this is like fake, you know? So you have to start to make a internal marketing with your people in your countries, with all the, the countries. I have um, 18 coordinators, marketing coordinators in okay. countries. Okay. So I, I can I can work with them. And they give me a lot of feedback about the, the, the markets of their countries. Every country is different. I have El Salvador here from Guatemala, and this is another world. So imagine that we are, we are talking about Colombia, we are talking about Miami. So we have to, to have a great connection between all, all the managers and all the employees. No matter which, which is the, the role, everybody is important to work together. But let me ask you a question because it must be really hard because you have everything that is internal about marketing, having, you know, those six different types of, of practices, and then you have 24 countries. But at the same time, you have 64 partners that you, you need to deal with. And each partner is different and, and at the same time, not only different, but they, 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 they try to, to, to pressure you, to push you with different events. And it must be hard because maybe you could meet some of the partners and put it together. But having in those 24 countries, as you said, that are completely different, different languages, you know, from, from, from Miami to, to almost, you know, to Peru, to the South, and then the English, Caribbean, and then Dominican Republic, and then, you know, Colombia. So different, completely different cultures. So I'm having those, um, uh, the team that you have with uh, 16, 18 people. So how do you manage that in terms of, when you start at the beginning of the year and you say, okay, this is how I'm going to be doing my plan, my marketing plan. So I, I, how, how do you do it? You know, to, to put together that marketing plan and then to get the approval from different, because I guess in each country you have like a, a PBS general manager besides, you know, the sales director and so on. So it must be hard not only to put everything together, but to get approval at the, not only at the corporate level, but also at the country level. Okay. Uh, let's say that we started our last marketing plan on October, 2023 for this mm -hmm. year. So I, I made a, um, a strategy with my direct boss, Leonardo, and we made like, um, um, a strategy about our partners that we wanted to, to work with. But it's very important to have this relationship with the sales managers. This is my, this is the key of this, because if you are not aligned with the sales uh, team, you are doing this for this side and they are doing this. All right. So you have to be linked you know so we had meetings in every country with the sales managers of every vertical of business and then 
we can make uh, this kind of plan with the with with kind of social media we're going to to post. Uh, with ki what kind of events we are going to do in every country. Uh, if we have to do a, a email campaign for our client. So it's a lot of work because we have to start from, from our sales team to uh, have this uh, great uh, in, in, implementation with mm -hmm. our partners. So that's that's the way that we worked I know, last I year. Know. And it must be hard because um, each country, for example, maybe for some country, they, they want to retain more customers or upsell or, or, or cross-sell to those to some of those customers. But at the same time, other countries or other business units, they want to have more lead generation. They want to have a more leads that they, they, they can sell. So and, and not only the quota that you have inside the company, but also each partner give you a quota that you need to, to, to accomplish to reach as well. So I guess, you know, that, that, that must be very, very uh, hard work to do. But let me ask you another question. Yes. How are you using the social media in, in that case? Because I have seen PBS is doing an, an excellent job changing. I, I, I couldn't say, you know, changing the image, but refreshing the image. It has been an yeah. excellent job that you have done there. And, and I have seen it in, in, for example, in LinkedIn, the way you do it, that you are freshing your image, but at the same time, um, sending messages, you know, locally to different, in different languages and countries. So could you please, you know, tell me a little bit about it, how you are uh, doing it and, and how successful have you been doing doing that? Okay. Uh, first of all, all the all the posts that you are looking for at the LinkedIn and Instagram, Facebook, I created because of each country sent to me the needs that they have, you know, with with some solutions and products and partners. So I asked I asked them to to give me feedback, please, because I wanted to promote all the products and solutions that they need. I didn't uh, make it like, oh, random, you know? I did it because they need it and they want it. So I have a, a monthly calendar, you know, that I'm posting every day. Wow. So I think that this is a great, great job that we, we have made because we didn't have like um, centralized the regional uh, pages every every country was uh, managing their their social media so that was the first step to mm -hmm. regional uh, to make a regional uh, pages so i think that it's a teamwork because i have feedback from everyone and then we had like a, our our blue logo pbs logo and when somebody said, we, I think that we need to, to refresh and I don't know. And, and I said, thank you. Thank you. Because I need to, to put color in this brand. You know, it, it's a Correct. technological Correct. technological brand. And right. So so we have to, to put this in, in color, please. And so, changing the mindset as well of PBS and the yes. DNA, you know, because PBS has been in the market for how many years? 40 years? 30, 30, um, 30 something, 40 years, and changing, the, ch changing you know, everything, and the, not, not only the look, but the mindset and the DNA the in, 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 in inside the company. Um, yes. I remember when, when I was surprised, you know, when we did that event in, in Guatemala, uh, the way that you did it and all the details that they were present, and, and we had like almost you know 100 people and all the details you know before during and after the event so uh, if, if you think about uh, activities and, and marketing strategies that you have done which one do you you think that you 
you won't do it again and others that you yeah, that you think that you 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 say okay this is this was a success doing it and I'm, I will repeat it you okay. know yeah okay uh, one thing that I won't do again is uh, the participation of um, local like uh, first, you know, the technology day, the, the tech day, I, I, I don't know. I, that's, it's not because it's, it, the, those are, aren't a good uh, events, but mm -hmm. I don't have a lot of budget, you know, to spend. Okay. So I prefer to do this more customized with my partners. If you want an event to make networking, to make top of mind of your of your brand and mine, I I prefer to make one to one events. That's what that's what um, are we doing uh, since September of the last year? I think that it's better because you invite people that take decisions from the companies that you know that are interested about the solution that we are going to present with our mm -hmm. partner. Mm -hmm. And that 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 was so great, and and the people feels like special for us or customers, and we prepare the presentations for them, customized for our clients. So I think that my budget and my effort is going there, not to uh, massive events. I think that is that just for networking and if you don't have uh, where where to spend your money so you, you have to go there but you already have a brand you already yes we you, have have brand. you have a brand yeah. recognition already very high so i yes. know what you mean so it doesn't make any sense at all to have to be in those no. events where everyone goes and it's very to be focalized and, and yes and, and be you know just to a very specific industry market niche than be yes. too, 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 too broad. Now, yeah. in, with that, with all your, your experience and working in different companies, what I'm, I'm marketing being so, so many things that you could do as a, as a marketeer, what do you recommend for people, uh, for those new professionals in marketing that are going to be in the in the in the workforce? What are your recommendations? Okay, for example, in my case, I'm I'm gonna ask you. Okay, Gabby, I'm going. I wanna start being a marketeer. I'm. I have been. I have been interviewed like in three, four companies, uh, what are the recommendations? What do you recommend me to, to, to do to, to just as a, as a, as a message, as a, what, 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 what are your, your, your thoughts and, and, and your guidance to me? Okay. I think that is very important for me that, you know, I have a lot of experience. I have like a, marketing from the old school, if you want to say that. But I updated my education. I, of course, I studied uh, some courses of uh, marketing, di uh, digital marketing, of retail, of uh, social media. You know, it's a, it's a lot of content that you can, you have in your hands right now. So first of all, of course, is the academic, uh, area is important the second one is the experience that you get when you work is very important to 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 have the opportunity to connect with uh, with uh, with your customers outside the office i think this is very important not just stay there in the in your desk and working and working and working and you have to to know your partners, you have to work uh, to know your your customers, and I think that 
the good relationship with people for me it's it's a key it's a key because if you don't have that good attitude with your people and with uh, the people outside i think that you you can't do your work you have to to have this engagement you have to to have this um a good good um commitment you know uh -huh. with your your with your company and with your with your commitment and synergy with the company yes people, synergy the uh -huh, with the people yes uh, with all the people in the organization okay yes well gabby to me was a honor and a pleasure interviewing you remember and don't and i always say you know i admire you because i know uh, the hard worker that you are and the responsibility that you have in a company with more than 3,000 people in 24 countries with so many brands that you represent and in a, in a, in a field like IT and technology that is changing all the time. And, and, and thank you very much for your time. Um, um, you know, up, like uh, setting aside all those responsibilities that you have and give me this opportunity and the pleasure to interview you. So Gabby, thank, thank you. you very much for your time. Thank you, Hennison. Here, here I am if you need anything else for my support and, thank you. and or work together and in anything and, you need. And we'll keep it. working together in other events that hopefully we're going to do this year. Yes, of of course, yes, and and don't forget that PBS now technology can wait because that that was a, my great campaign that I created last year. So <laughs> I know it. That's true. Technology can wait. Okay, technology thank can. you, thank you, okay. thank you, Gabby. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Eugenis.